Hi, today we are going to be doing a video tutorial on how to use the watch window for MP Lab X. So what we have here is a test program that stores values into the file registers. So here we have in the first line of instruction a call to store hex 0f into the file register num1 then hex 09 into file register num2. We add the results together and store it in file register result. So the first thing we want to do is to enable the views so that we can use the watch window. So you want to position your cursor over the window in the navigation bar. Scroll down to debugging and then click on variables. So you have two ways here of adding a new watch. You can either right click here and click new watch or to click the symbol that looks like a diamond with a plus sign. So we're going to go ahead and look at the BSR register. So we're going to click on SFRs and BSR in the list view. And as you can see here, we've just added a new watch for the bank select register. The next view I want to take a look at is the file register view. So we're going to reposition the cursor again over window, scroll down to pick memory views, and click on file registers. Now we have two ways of viewing this. One of them is in hex or in symbol view. I think the symbol view is very, in very interesting and easy to use. So we're going to go ahead and use that. So one of the things we are going to do here is we are going to compile the project. Then we are going to debug the project. So the first step you will need to do is to right click inside of the file register window and click fill memory. Because in this instance, all of this has been run once and you can see that the final values are already stored. So as you can see here, they are no longer here. So as we move through the program by stepping through, through the first instruction into the working register and then to the file register we can see exactly the values that we are expecting now in the next example we are going to do we are going to change the bank select register and where the variables begin so in this case, we are selecting C block hex 300. So in this case, what we are expecting is for none of these values to be stored anywhere because it is outside of, this, of where we are selecting the bank select register. So now we are going to recompile and debug the project once again. And again, we are going to fill the memory. And step through the program. So you can see here, we select the bank 1. And as expected, we can see that the bank select register value is 1. And, expect, and as expected, we do not see any changes in the values here. Of course, you can scroll down the files register view. And we can see no changes has been made. The next thing I would like to show is the program memory view. Here we can see the program in memory and the address where all the instructions are. We hope this video tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching.